I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important application question based on quadratic relations. You can always pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestions. When an object is launched vertically upwards with an initial speed of v, its height h above the launch point t seconds later is given by h equals to vt minus 16 t square if the distances are in feet. A projectile is launched upwards from the ground level with initial speed of 80 feet per second. How long will it stay above the ground? How high will it go? Four options are given to you. Now, here is what I suggest. Let's be very clear of understanding what we need to find. First is how long it will stay above the ground, right? So, so if the projectile goes up and then it comes down, what we are interested in total time, right? So, so we need total time, T, for going up and down. Second part is how high will it go? So, so the maximum height we want, right? So we want h max. And that will happen at half the time. Do you, do you understand this part? Because it takes the same amount of time to go up and to come down, right? Now we are fortunately given the equation also as h equals to vt minus 16t squared. If v is equals to 80, substituting 80 we get 80t minus 16t squared. This could be written in factored form. 16t is a common factor. We get 5 minus t. Now, let's try to figure out the total time. So at this time, height equals to 0, right? So if I substitute 0 here, I get 16t times 5 minus t. And that is possible for t equals to 0 and for t equals to 5. So from here, initial point t equals to 0, we start. t equals to 5, it hits back. And therefore, we get one of the answers, which is 5 seconds. So for 5 seconds, the object is in the air. Perfect. So we get one of those solutions. Now, let's try to figure out how high will it go. We know the maximum height will be at t equals to half of 5, which is 5 over 2. So that is the time now. So basically, now we need to find height when t equals to 5 by 2. So we'll substitute in one of our equation. The factored form is a good equation. 16 times 5 over 2 minus 5 minus 5 over 2. So that gives you 16 times 5 over 2 times 5 over 2, correct? So this could be easily simplified. You could cancel 2 times 2 as 4 and 4 times 4 is 16. And when you multiply 4 times 5, 20 times 5, 100. So we get 100 feet, correct? So the option is 5 seconds and 100 feet, which is option C for us. So that is how you can actually answer such a question. So this is based on factoring techniques. You could also uh, do some other way. I mean, completing the squares could have been done, but probably this is the most efficient way of solving this. Feel free to write or comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe my video, that'd be great. Share my videos with your friends also. Thanks for watching and all the best.